Our film project, The Emperor of All Maladies, is about as close to the bone as filmmaking gets for me. Cancer has been a huge part of my life. There is never a moment in my awareness as a human being that I didn't know that something was desperately wrong with my mother. Two and a half, three years old, she was sick with cancer. She died when I was 11, almost 12 years old. The reason why I do what I do comes from this illness and this death and watching it happen. So in a way, as much as you want to move away from it, you have to move towards it. One of my patients asked me a very simple question, what is it that I'm fighting? I was drawn, sort of obsessively drawn to this question because I thought to myself, well, here is something that is going to intersect with all of our lives, yet we know very little about it. We don't know its history. Where does it rise? What happens next? Where are we in, the, in this journey? So I decided to take the journey way back into the past and way forward into the future. Try to understand where are we today with cancer? What happens next? When I was growing up, I had an aunt who developed cancer and she was hidden in the attic. People were ashamed if they had it. Nobody wanted to be seen if they had it. I went to medical school in, from 48 to 52, and at that time, we were told you don't tell patients that they have cancer because it's inhuman. It would be cruel to do so. I remember one child, girl, I remember she, she looked at me, I'm dying, I'm dying. Can't you save me, Dr. Pinko? Can't you save me? If I try to put myself back in my early training in medicine and imagine the world that we're entering now, this path toward rational treatment for cancer, it's a totally different language. It, we weren't even close to being able to imagine it. Mr. May. Hello, Dr. Rosenberg. Oh, great to see you. Good to see you, too. I knew somebody, somewhere, has got to be working on something that can beat this. And it looks like virtually everything is gone. You've saved my life, and I just feel like, I feel so lucky. Super cells coming back. All right, dear. Right here, little buggers. This is it. Right in this area. A chance at a cure lies in a, p in a Petri dish. I can't imagine for any of us to be able to do this job in a sustained way without having the ability to find what is hopeful in every situation. You want to see that? Yeah. This is the before picture. That was her tumor six weeks ago. Can you see how much smaller it's gotten? Yeah. Way to go! Yeah. There are some oncologists who drop out of oncology. They say the tragedy of losing patients is too difficult for them. I've lost a lot of patients because I've been around a long time, and it is difficult. But I haven't lost my ability to say, this is a step on the road to eventual success. And if I am not successful, my successors will be successful. You have to believe in the future, and I do. I'm not a scientist. I don't know whether this will all pan out, but there's a sense, a kind of palpable energy and excitement that we may be on the cusp of some significant changes, some significant breakthroughs, some new and radical therapies and treatments that will change our relationship to the disease. Make no mistake, this is one of the most significant human challenges in our history. But I think we're sitting in an extraordinary moment because we finally are beginning to understand what causes cancer at a cellular or molecular or genetic level in a way we just did not know 10 years ago or even five years ago. You look at what's going on with cancer right now, it's stunning, it is exhilarating to see the understanding of cancer that's piling up, to see the early drugs that are being developed. If you were expecting cures for cancer next week, it just can't happen that way. But on the other hand, if one looks at what's going on, one has to be enormously optimistic at the progress. It's not fast. It's not easy. Sometimes we think we know the answer and we don't. 
and then we get corrected. But, but we know we're on the right path. Every field in medicine has had a moment in history that has been transforming. The moment where the knowledge that was required to change the field became available. This is the moment for cancer. It's happening.